Hello everybody and welcome back to Keep It Real episode number 37. Good news is it's raining again. Amazing. That means we can carry on now. <laughs> Jerry's been giving me some stick. Now you jumped in on the bandwagon and he told me to stop being lazy and clean all of the equipment. I mean come on I thought I was making progress here. Give me a chance Jerry. But you are right. As soon as it's raining I don't have an excuse do I? So let's make that a goal for the episode. I'm actually going to clean all of the equipment. Can can you imagine? Or what what's happened to me this new year? Actually cleaning equipment. This is ridiculous. Now, just before I get straight into, I think this might be kind of a chorey kind of episode, really. Just kind of checking in on the farm, making sure everything's good. I'm curious to know. Okay, these are 465 litres, so they're not too far away from giving us an, another full crate of apples. Should be about the same. Yeah. So, that should be something we can do if we get stuck for money, because, as you can see, we have paid all of our leasing bills and our finance, <laughs> and we are not in a very good position. But I'm not panicking this time. No, no major panic. One thousand three hundred eighty pounds. But like I said, there's there's going to be two thousand pounds worth of apples there at some point. I think as long as we clear our debts today, then we should be okay. So let's just jump straight into this. Make the most. Look at it, by the way. Doesn't it look fantastic? Let's get some lights on. See how clean it looks. It's even inspired me to start cleaning equipment and tractors in the roleplay story. Which, as you know, that's probably probably my worst story. Although, what I will say is I do do that on purpose in that one. Yeah, you probably don't believe it, but I do purposely leave equipment dirty. <laughs> yeah, you don't believe that at all. Right, let's connect up the water tank. Fill that up, top up the apple trees. Oh, no hoses on that one. Okay, good. So yeah, we'll um we'll fill up the apple trees. At least that's done then. I mean what are they actually on? Let's just have a look a minute. Um where are they? Productions. Yeah, so they they've all got well, wow. Only just though. Only just. Okay. Yeah. It's a good job I'm doing this first of all, actually. By the end of the episode, we'd probably run out. Now, another reason the money has gone down ever so slightly. Obviously, we had our bills. But I did. At the last... Well, at the last episode. Right at the very end of the last episode. After I'd even finished recording, I suddenly remembered... Oh dear, the ducks don't have food. So I did just off record and I wasn't going to record it just for that, that would have been a bit extreme, but I ran to the shop and I got two bags of grain, just two bags. So it just gave them a little 100 litre boost of grain, which hopefully did get them through the night. I hope, I didn't actually check while this is filling. While it's filling, is it going to fill? I wonder if it's trying to charge us. Maybe it's because we are minus money. Maybe. Um, okay. Well, that doesn't help too much, does it? We might just have to do something to make some money. At least the rain stopped and we're not getting wet. Um, what do we have here that can make us money? Worst case, we can sell... One of the bales of silage. How are these ducks doing? Yeah, 43 litres. I'm glad I put that 100 litres in. Because they would have been on zero. We would have lost some. We would have lost a few. Right, 500 there. 468. 470. Alright, come on. Well, what I'll do... We'll, we'll top up the water at some point. But for a minute... Let's turn off the lights. Don't want to run the battery out for the minute. Let's start 
moving some equipment just while time passes us by. Now we'll do this backwards. So I hope everyone's well anyway. Now I'm not sure when this episode will be out because I'm kind of a little bit ahead of myself actually. But what I don't want to do is while I'm ahead of myself kind of use it although you know potentially some of you might appreciate extra videos. I'd rather keep some videos back so at least I have kind of content ready to go into next week so I'm not too sure you might see this uh, the same week as you seen the last episode or it might be after I don't know one thing I have done in the meantime though I've actually pre-recorded I've even uploaded and set as a premiere so it's visible but I've done the roleplay story mode already, which is unheard of for me. That's normally something that takes me a little while to get it done. Right, I don't think, surely, this doesn't need a clean, does it? But it looks, it does look like it needs a clean, but we've never used it. Right, well, it's actually pretty filthy, isn't it? Okay, what I'm going to do is let's get rid of it. put this just into the little carport there. Hopefully, it'll fit if I can drive, and then we'll still be able to clean some equipment. Then I'm hoping once we're not in a minus, it is going to allow us to get some water. That is weird, though, isn't it? That's annoying. If if this is one that's going to try and charge us for water, that defeats the objective. Why I put it there. So actually. I might have to delete it and use a different one. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Can you imagine? I had a hose pipe for like two episodes and now I'm deleting it already. <laughs> right, let's reverse this up. Hopefully, the man will do it without too much trouble. It's nice and easy to reverse, though, this is. Yeah, the, the episode of roleplay story mode uh, which is coming number 11 I think it is which you may have seen you may not have seen depending on the day but it did take this was one of those off-camera ones that took a lot of time and maybe I should have recorded it in hindsight after I did it I thought maybe I should have recorded that so I built a, well, a couple of little extra locations I always like to use a different map so I used Attingham Park, which is a pretty good map by the way, it's a very detailed map. And I built a couple of things, a bit of dealership, which actually looked pretty cool I thought. And I also built a fuel station with kind of a little small car and motorbike dealership just off the side of it as well. So if you have seen it, let me know what you thought of it. If you haven't seen it, then look forward to it I guess, but I don't know, maybe two and a half hours worth of landscaping and building uh, which I enjoy doing by the way if you didn't realize so that's kind of something I can do quietly in my own time a bit of peace and quiet and just do some building but yeah that was enjoyable and I think it looks pretty cool certainly suits the story anyway that's why I do it it's funny really I put all of this time and effort into things which you probably only see for about 10 minutes by the time I actually record and edit the videos. A bit like that annual court farm show. I don't, I cannot even remember how many hours that took, but literally within two episodes and I've never used it again. So it's quite funny really, but I like to do it. It's a bit different. I like to do things which are a little bit different, so that's why I do it. Alright, you can tell it's been raining. Look, that field's flooding. Here we are at the new yard the new little yard so what I want to start doing is kind of moving the equipment here which would eventually belong here now let's jump into this view <laughs> I thought maybe it was big enough to turn equipment around maybe I thought wrong because obviously what I want to do is avoid where possible going into the field because there's always that risk of slipping and damaging it. And I just don't want to take that risk really. Right, let's get this 
over in the far corner, I reckon. And we can actually park it relatively straight. Ish. Try not to hit the back. About there is probably right. There we go. Right. First bit done. What else did we have? I do need to take... Well, that's under shelter. Let's get the plough. And we'll take that back to the yard because it can stay at the yard, but also it needs a wash. Desperately needs a wash. Um, again, I've got to try and do this without damaging too much grass. Oh, and damaging the plough. That would be good. Easy does it. Easy does it. Don't slip. Okay, let's get that connected and raised. Right, hopefully. Yes, we did that without slip. Do you know, it looked to me like the tyre was slipping, but there you go. Right, take this back. We have got some random bags here of stuff as well. Sorry, car. Breaking. Brake check. Let's um, see if we can't pick these up whilst we are here. If I remember the last time I tried this, this doesn't really work. And I need to tip it over. Yeah. Yep, it's like deja vu. I've done this before. We picked it up this way. Maybe. Oh, what is that? Another bag or something there as well. I've just got bags of stuff everywhere. Right, these should all be at the main yard, shouldn't they? Now, one thing I haven't done is looked at the used shop yet. Which I will do in a moment. Not that I really need to, because we have no money. But we will do that anyway. Back at the yard. Made it in one piece. Didn't drop the bag. Which is good. I'm going to leave the bag on actually because I think maybe it might help me get up here without losing too much traction. So, same again. Let's give the plow a wash. I can't believe I'm doing stuff like this. This is just. I'm a changed man. I'm a changed man. Okay. It's not even that dirty anyway. It's because it's been out in the rain. Well, that does look better, though. It does look better. Right, we will pop this, chuck it up into the corner, hopefully. Without damaging our shed. Can I get to it? Can I get to it? Oh dear. <laughs> um, no, apparently not. There we go, eventually. Should have put that weight a bit further back, shouldn't I? I don't know. Right, this I think, or oh, maybe actually, maybe we can tuck it in up there. This is why the man's so handy, isn't it? It's quite a nimble little machine, really. See if I can drop it here. That'll do. That'll do. Ok. 
Okay. Well, the baler, I don't know. I don't think the baler actually needs washing, does it? Let's have a look. No, I, I, I think that's fine. But it does need to go into shelter a bit better. Why did I even park it that badly? What on earth was I doing at the time? What was I thinking? Okay. That's better. Well, it could actually go a bit further, you know. Let's do that. Is that better? Whoa. That's close. Good. Progress already. Right, that don't need cleaning. That doesn't need cleaning, I don't think. That definitely does. Definitely does. But... I have to clean it without getting water inside, wouldn't I? I don't want to get all the fertilizer all wet and stuck together. Hmm, maybe that's a job for when it's empty. I think that's a pretty good attempt at a bit of cleaning, don't you? That trailer over there is fine. Right, has it generated us any apples? Must be nearly there. 479. 481. Okay. Hmm, maybe, you know. Maybe I'll just sell one lot of bale. One lot of bales? Maybe I'll just sell the one bale. Hmm. I mean, what would that give us? They are still showing silage. Three and a half thousand litres. I don't really want to sell it too much because, you know, we kind of need it. But we're also close to producing our own, aren't we? 315. Not that far off the main price. Could take it to the biogas plant. We've never actually been there before. One bale of silage would get us to almost debt free, but that's still not enough. I definitely do not want to be selling two. This manure is coming along very well, isn't it? Definitely. I wonder if we can sell manure actually. Or whether we have to own the biogas. Um, no. Large greenhouse. Okay, I'm assuming you can't sell it to that though. That's the inbuilt map one, isn't it? We can also sell slurry. Interesting. Now, if you don't own the biogas plant, does it still produce digestate? That will be interesting one to know. Yeah, I don't know. Right, for a minute. Let's, uh, let's prep the trailer. Up near the apples, we're ready to go. And then hopefully, I don't know, if I take my time. Whoa, didn't like that very much. If I take my time, maybe the two extra pallets of apples will come out. I don't know. I don't want to waste the whole episode though. That's not very good, is it? Now, we do actually still have the option to take out a bigger loan. That has been offered to us. Obviously, my priority has been trying to pay it off, really. But, I don't know. Again, you know, realistically, in, in life, you, you would, wouldn't you? Whether you're a farmer, whether you're just a normal person. If there was something you wanted or something you needed, you would just take out a loan. Get a credit card. Well, I'm assuming you would. That's bad. I shouldn't assume that, should I? Some people would. People who were desperate would. And I think we're not far off desperate in this series. Now, obviously I could pick these up. We've gone through this before anyway if you've seen lots. But I'm not using super strength. The actual uh, production itself allows you to pick them up. But realistically, if it was me, I would just pick them up a box at a time. So for that reason... Oh, this trailer needs a clean as well, actually. Look, look at the state of it. We'll have to do that when we get back. Right. 483. It ain't far off. It really isn't far off generating a couple more. Okay. What do we do now? 
there's no good that go into the other yard maybe I could back it in underneath there this here yeah maybe hmm what are you doing I do need some more straw as well don't they oh no well it's shown they got seven thousand uh, sorry six thousand seven hundred and fifty six just the animation looks like they haven't got any straw okay right well I think for a minute we're kind of we're kind of done for the farm chores we are kind of done let's just log in online and have a look just to see what we can get. So what this is what we've got left. 23,488 to pay on that. 9,790 to pay on that. So we've paid a you know nearly a two grand chunk off of this overall, or just over, I think, actually. So we are paying it off slowly, but we can have a fourteen thousand five hundred and seventy-nine pound loan. Hmm. Wow. Um, the problem with that is it's not actually that much money, is it? Let's have a little uh, little look around here. Now, this field in between the two would be ideal, by the way. This would be my preferred option because I can make a track from here. That kind of track that we always walk down, I can make that into a drivable track. That would save a lot of time. But it's 286,000. Wow. It's 92% <laughs> up on its value I do like that about this mod you do get different bargains depending on time of the year when you look it always keeps you on your toes and just keeps you looking around at different areas now that would have burnt a little bit of time though wouldn't it come on 85 87 well okay this is not great is it this is not great at all Okay, slight rethink. Again, just while time's going. It's funny, it's on times 10, but it still feels like it's far too slow this episode. Given that cows, in theory, when they produce milk, the milk doesn't magically last forever, I'm going to take some milk to the dairy. They're not offering full price at the minute, and we haven't got quite a thousand litres, but... It's probably a bit more realistic anyway, isn't it, to do that. So let's load up the milk. What have we got? Uh, 820 litres. Right, that will probably... Oh. Typical, I've left something in the way. Let's go this way. Um, so this will probably give us a nice chunk of that money. Yeah, nice chunk. Maybe about £900. Yeah, that, that will certainly get us closer keep up the realism and then those apples well hopefully they'll be ready to go and then that whew, that wouldn't have been good would it and only rolled it do you know even this tractor is lacking power it is really lacking some power maybe it's going to need an engine upgrade maybe maybe I should have got that Renault Talking about the Renault, let's have a look. What's in use today? Oh, the Renault is still there. It is still there. Oh, it's also nice. No, too expensive. Stop looking. We are going to need a wind rower, but I think that's going to be far too large. Okay, here we are. Now, that black smoke coming out of this agri, we do know at some point. We're going to need to take this in for a service. Uh, 967 and 27 environmental score, not bad. So actually we made about 1,000 there. Just under. It's better than I thought. Yeah, this agri is going to need to go in for a service soon. The smoke is not looking great. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> it's worse than the class in the story. Mate. So, one of the kind of initial rules, those realistic rules was if we had to take something in for a major service, which it will be I mean, hopefully it doesn't stall going up this hill again like it did last episode but 
come on, come on. Yeah, we will lose that for the entire episode. So we'll have to drop it in very early on in the episode and then we just won't be able to use it. So I need to forward plan for when I'm actually going to do that. And to be honest, probably sooner rather than later because... I don't know, we can get away with not having this tractor for a minute. As soon as we have to start cutting grass and things, we're going to need it. And we don't want it breaking down whilst we're doing that. Because then we have to leave it at the shop for an entire episode. It's just going to... It's going to stop everything. It's going to cause a bit of a problem. So that wouldn't be very good at all. Now, let's reverse this back up. We'll just try and see if it gives us water this time, but... I'm guessing not. It's also very hard to reverse. <laughs> it's very hard to reverse. Try again. Mm, still doesn't want to fill it. Well, that's certainly topped us up a little bit, isn't it? That's topped us up a little bit. Now. Ah, oh, it's so close. It's so close. Let's just... Let's just sell the apples. Because this will at least take us out of debt. And then I can at least... Well, hopefully. Unless there's some sort of weird glitch. But I can at least fill up the water in the trees then. Well, I nearly rode the trailer as well then. Not good. Right, yeah, though, this should get us back into the... Back into the green. Okay, here we are. It's not going to be much, but... Where's it going to sell from? Yep. But we are now, any second, not in debt. Well, we are in debt, we're in a lot of debt, but... At least my, uh, my pocket, at least my wallet isn't empty anymore. This is pretty good, actually. It's given us a decent amount. It's a very short sighted of me, actually, last episode. You know, I, I really wanted to do that little bit of a yard at the bottom, and I just completely forgot it was a new month. And really, I mean, I guess that's the sort of mistake anyone will make in real life, isn't it? But, yeah. Really, I should have planned that and not spent that money. We could have got ourselves into a bit of trouble. But we didn't. But we didn't. It's all good. I'll just wait for this traffic to get out of the way. Park up the trailer. So, I mean, I don't know. This this has definitely been a struggle. Definitely been a struggle. But these episodes need to happen once in a while, don't they? There is there's no way around that, to be honest with you, because we just have to keep the farm going. We just have to. And hey, it, at least I've cleaned everything anyway. That's that's good, isn't it? That's progress. That's like personal progress, that is. Getting into the habit of actually cleaning things. Better back that up a little bit more. Okay. Right. Doesn't matter too much now. Whether those pallets appear or not, we can just do that any episode. Let's see if we can get water, actually. That's what I was going to do, isn't it? Right, we will park up the tractor. Let's get it into there. Reconnect up that weight as well, so we can get back in further. And then for health and safety reasons, we better lower the front loader. There we go. Right. Let's have a look. Will the water wet? Now, if it starts charging me... Yeah, that's a bit annoying. I don't want to be paying for it. That's the whole idea of this, really. Hmm. It is. But in all fairness, it's nothing, is it? We could say... That's just the cost of maintenance. Yeah. 
I'll just go with that. I could, you know, I could just F12 jump into the development controls and just literally add the water, but I'd just rather not do that. It's just easier to do this, isn't it? So that's fine. We're going to say that that very, very small amount of cost there, which is probably not even £30. £30 exactly, actually. It costs a pound per 100 litres. That's just maintenance cost. That's just maintenance cost. That's what's just keeping it going. Fine. But then maybe if we have to pay a small amount for it, I can just get water whenever I want. I don't know. Let's at least get this up here. Fill it up. I have, oh dear. <laughs> I have no idea which trees need water the most, by the way. But what we'll do is we'll aim to get 1,500 litres in each tree. Right, I don't know which one it wants to fill. So I'm going to do it by the one that I'm closest to. Right, let's try and get it roughly a bit more. Good, that's close. And we'll take the rest of it to the furthest tree. Good. Right, one of those trees was the one that's desperate for it anyway. Okay, right. Do the same on the other two trees. And then, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll see where I'm at on this episode, because it's a bit of a strange episode, isn't it? God, I'd nearly run over that little duckling then. That's close. But I'll see where I am for time. Now, in the meantime, I've just had a couple of messages come through as well. Just before I started recording this one, I popped a little thing on the channel just to say, does anyone want to jump into uh, Edgewater and just give me a hand starting off that harvest? And I've had a couple of messages come through whilst I'm recording. So, I think for me, I'm going to jump out of this recording in a moment. Jump into the Edgewater map and just do a little bit of that, really. Uh, just for a minute. I very much doubt I'm going to get the whole recording done of that in one go. It's probably going to be over a couple of sessions, which also... Oh, the agri just stalled again. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good, is it? Fortunately, it does restart. Yeah, so a couple of sessions. Hopefully that will give a bit of a variety of who can jump on as well. But I think as it stands, it's probably going to be Sloth, first of all, who's messaged me at least to get on. So that's good. It's a good start. Right, let's get this done. And just like that, I am back. That must be the quickest flight to Canada. Harvest a whole entire field with the help of Sloth. Thank you very much. And we're back in France, just like that amazing so yeah I'm, <laughs> I'm recording this now on Saturday so I imagine you probably won't actually see this episode until the Monday most likely now I've just jumped in and I've edited as well just to see kind of where I was and I know we're about 35 minutes into the episode but I also spotted something very interesting when I was doing the editing so we're gonna head down to the other field will crawl through the bush and head on down. Now, I might be wrong, but the odd occasion when I was, I don't know what I was doing, picking something up, a plough maybe, or dropping off the, the loading wagon, I think, the forage wagon. For some reason, I, I've just got a sneaky feeling that that grass is now ready to go. It's got those brown tips on it, which I kind of mentioned in the last one or two. Oh, let that van go. Oh, thank you. It's very kind of him. He doesn't look quite so patient, though. Yeah, and it definitely is, isn't it? This is fully grown, this grass. It's at its maximum. That is amazing. So, we need to get that cut. And it ain't going to be a job for this episode, obviously, because... By the time I finish talking about rubbish, we'll most likely be at about 40, 45 minutes. That's kind of where I want it to be. So that's what we've got to do. Next episode, 
we know exactly what's going on. We need to get a mower, probably, given that we've only got £614, probably going to have to lease one. But I do have a rough idea of which one we're going to lease. Get this cut up, then get it rowed up. I mean, I guess the advantage maybe of using a small mower is it might almost row itself, potentially. So you might get away with the, the uh, wind row this time around. But then we're going to get it picked up. But we need to place that, that bunker for the silage in the next episode. So we're going to have to do something that's going to get us a little bit of cash. And if I'm honest, maybe a very small, very, very temporary loan might be in order. Yeah, I think so. So this is a good spot to end it on, I think, to be honest. So as always, thank you very much for watching. In the meantime, I, I started this episode. You've probably seen the uh, Saskatchewan Big Harvest and the Roleplay Story mode. And now I've come back to the episode to finish it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I do hope you enjoyed the last two episodes. The uh, Roleplay Story mode is certainly starting to get quite funny. Especially with the kind of comedy duo of Travascus and Terry. Yeah, I'm going to keep working on those actually. Now I'll tell you one thing. So straight from this recording, I'm going to head into the Alma, Missouri map because that is winning the votes by a considerable amount actually. It's on 48% of the votes that I've got have all been for that map. So it's looking quite likely that's going to be the one we go to. And yeah, I did kind of quietly mention that was probably my favourite anyway. So I'm going to head straight to there and have a little bit of a yeah, I don't know, like a very, very early access type episode, probably only a short one, 10, 15 minutes, just to give you an idea of if it does win the vote, exactly which area I'm going to start on. And of course, in kind of typical Rusi fashion, it will be with the, the bare minimum. We'll have the money from whatever Sask has generated us, but there will be absolutely nothing. We're not buying a farm. We'll be buying a bit of land. And we'll be starting from scratch. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for watching. And until the next time I speak to you, cheers and gone.